But I wanted to mention it because it's on, it's in South America, uh, where these sorts of programs are still kind of rare. But this is the EODP program in Chile, which is the English Opens Doors program. And I have to say it's currently suspended, unfortunately. That's why I put this disclaimer here. It's currently suspended due to COVID. So um, if that's something you're interested in, just keep checking the website here, Centro de Voluntarios.cl. Um, and keep checking the website regularly. I think they're not doing it in 2021, this whole year, but they might, you know, start doing it again for next year. So then you can jump on the wagon then. But yeah, the English Open Stores program is sponsored by the Chilean Ministry of Education and the United Nations Development Program. Its objective is to improve the level of English of the students from fifth grade to fourth grade in high school. So students aged between 13 and 18 years of age. The requirements for this program, you need to be between the ages of 21 and 35. So that's a little bit um, narrow there. You also need to be a native or near native English speaker. You need to have a bachelor's degree. And what's also important is that you need to have sufficient funds to basically um, get you through the program from start to finish because it's more of a volunteer program. You do get money, but it's not much, especially if you do want to travel and explore the region. Um, it's not going to be enough. So they want to make sure that you come to Chile, that you have enough money to, um, you know, get through it <laughs> for your cost of living there. So let's talk about the pay and benefits of this program in Chile. So all meals are included in the program. You have a week-long orientation course at the beginning in Santiago. You get free transportation within Chile, which is really cool. I believe you get issued like some sort of transportation card you can use. You get free health insurance. You also get a free online Spanish course. There's no visa fee and here, this is the allowance that you get. So currently you get an allowance of 100,000 um, is a Chilean pesos for each month of completed service. So depending on how long you stay, oh, and this is currently around 135 US dollars, so per month, but typically they would pay this at the end of your experience. So once you've completed all the months, then at the end you would get the money. But I also read some schools or some organizations, depending on where you work, they pay every other month. Um, so that depends, apparently. So um, check that out. Ask them on the website. Get in touch with them. And um, yeah, also all housing costs are covered if you choose the homestay option. And um, yeah, homestay means you would stay with a local family there. Um, which can be a really fun and interesting experience, right? Living with a local family, I think that's really fun. So yeah, this is the English Open Stores program in Chile, in South America, currently suspended because of COVID, but I still wanted to mention it because it's the only program um, of this kind in South America. And so, yeah, it looks like they're probably going to pick it up again. I assume it's probably for, for next year. So um, just visit the website if that's something you're interested in and look out for it. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.